How you going, Gemini? I have your daily read. It'll be a quick one. Um, basically, we're going to grab three different decks and chuck it at the spiritual message and see what see what comes out. I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day. You're going to be jumping for joy. Yeah. You're happy at the present moment. You release baggage. You're releasing burdens. Yeah, because there's your victory in itself. Now something's good. See, when you release baggage, right? When you release that baggage, as you have, because it shows that you're extremely happy, like the universe is giving that gift, okay? So here's the gift as it's coming in, the universal gift as it's coming in, because you've walked through that trajectory of life, yeah? And now you're releasing the burden so you can be happier more, okay? Something comes in, so see, something in the background is coming in. See that there? Um, it's because you are now loving yourself more, and that brings the victory and brings you full circle to complete with that success. It's like a looks like badass success in some sort of way. It's only one of them cards in the whole deck and you can see that you're putting action towards it, okay? With boundaries and strength and strength in who you are. And so that way you can lead towards knowing the best version of yourself. And that's that's beautiful, Gemini, you know, especially with his leading his evolution uh, with confidence and authority and generosity, his his power, his business, his success, success, okay? So it's double emphasis on success here because his success and she's badass success, okay? I suppose that you might not be able to see it at the present moment because he's not looking and its ships are coming in though at the present moment, but it does show that, yeah, there's success there in some sort of way, especially around you knowing your worth and holding on to that value because he knows that he's worth, he holds on to that value. It's like whatever you come through in your life, you can see that there has like built you up to be the, the beautiful, strong person that you are because you can see through life lessons, the universe gives them gifts through life lessons. You know your worth though, so that's a beautiful thing, yeah? Yeah, being that social butterfly, being... But it's it's like the light's in your hand and the light's also surrounding you, the cat, and it sort of shows impatience, I suppose, but it shows that you're ready to pounce when the when you're, when you're when it comes along, okay? And it shows that you're able, yeah, see, you've got some sort of new beginning coming, okay? It's going to make you very excited, very excited. Um, she's surrounded by the light. She, she's got the light in her hand. She's also got uh, the amethyst, which shows purity in that thoughts. So it shows that whatever's coming in, it's going to make you jump for joy yes but the whole thing is centered this whole top row is centered around that success in some sort of way so like congratulations it's going to be perfect like like that's good success at that stage if that makes sense yeah trust your intuition at the present moment um there's good things coming especially a two 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 on the clock triple two and the the numbers for triple two are stop worrying everything is working out just as it's supposed to and trust that you're on the right path it sort of shows it right there okay because once you release these baggages and these burdens these things that you know pull you down it gives you like the chance to have that final push and bring out who you are as a soul in a spell you may have been teased you may have been gossip you may have been stressful you may have gone through a lot because have a look in the card there uh it's like you're in there crying people are just walking past and the person that's done the spell work is just snickering at it laughing just wait for it to come around but the universe says no okay because it goes straight on it would go straight under that nine of cups where the universe is giving the gift and that's how karma works you do good things good things come back to you yeah i just shuffled the deck and it came straight back out you're putting an ending to this stuff yeah because that's an ending which gives transformation so anybody that teased you gossiped about you put you down it's like um you're releasing that burden you put it put an end into it but with that ships coming in the background, there may be some uh, justice coming for them in some sort of way. So have quiet strength at the present moment and know you are um, everything you need, be it the emotional intuitive part of yourself in order to build yourself up at the present moment and go within and, and reconnect with your, with your spirituality. Yeah, Reconnect, thank you, spirit. With that judgment card, it shows self-realization and it shows that divine judgment will be called because these cards go next to each other. Anybody that's teased you, anybody that's put you down, will have divine judgment put on them 100%, okay? Now, what does that mean? It means the divine has seen everything and um, you are redeemed in the eyes of God as you can see that they're all uh, redeemed and ascending in life. And it shows that when Archangel Gabriel blows his tron, the Spirit's trying to pull you in some sort of direction, okay? So you can have more enthusiastic, be, be infectiously enthusiastic. You're a beautiful person, so why not, right? It shows that, see, look in the background here because it goes hand in hand with these cards here. You can see the ships are coming in the background here, okay? And it's like spirits pulling that in. So that way you can have, because the next card leading into it is success and then success, okay? So it's like, just be happy, ready to go because there's some beautiful success with the king to the uh, the emperor of, and then to this queen. It shows that um, it's going to make you very happy and very enthusiastic in life, yeah? And we've got the emperor as, as well. So it's like, be, be the bold, beautiful authority that you need in your life. Take that um, action. But, you know, it's a time to employ, I suppose, any type of... Um, confidence or authority that you need in, in your life in order to, to in order to be the um, heroic hero that you need in your life I suppose the best way to say it hero that you need in your life yeah that's literally a hero card there it's um boldly speaking the truth is 
he says taking action he's purpose driven he's a uh, very very logical thinking but as you can see they out of all the knights he's the um charging towards that being the hero so be the hero in your life there we had to put in some symbolic ending to it so it's like you're charging towards your success at the moment or success is charging towards you when we complete these things out from all these baggages and things like that that hold us down we're able to go into the best versions of our life so you complete out the deceptions and the trickeries and then the abundance comes in so you can be extremely happy but more logical as well because that's what it, the emperor in itself is is all four kings in the deck it doesn't have to be male or female but it's more like um somebody who is strong in their morals and integrity to be able to uh project through life and bring everything that they want through life into life if that makes sense and allowing it to spring forth with that inspiration uh, and using the universe to your advantage yeah we may you may have been dealing with some sort of uh, two-faced individual because we do have the emperor to the emperor and that's what you've ended out in some sort of way so in this part you've uh, put the action towards becoming more better and then with this one with the devil underneath it it shows that you may have been dealing with some sort of uh egotistical um selfish type of person who broke your heart we can see that there in itself but um spirit says it's time for you to be enthusiastic about life and and know that um this whole row has been put around these cards here about spirit pulling you in the, in the direction towards divine judgment so they can come and kick that ass, okay? The whole thing is around war in the middle there and that's going to be a success because I want you to see this is the card where they go to war and then this is the card where you win the war. So that's the victory of that success, um, if that makes sense, okay? So any type of devil that's coming to manipulate you in your life, okay, just want you to know that they've broken your heart but um, spirit has seen it and spirit is coming to kick that ass. So it's as simple as that. Um, at the present moment, Gemini, we can see that there, yeah, because you are the Empress, okay, you are loved, I'm Empress on love, okay, you are logical, which is smarter, and you do, you may not have seen it coming, but the King of King of Swords to the Two of Swords, the Two of Swords is choice, but in the King of Swords, there's two swords there, so it shows that you're smart enough now to be able to make those decisions after going through what you've gone through with the logic and, and the life experience to be able to be the natural leader of your own life and, and be the intelligent hero energy that you need as you speak the truth in with morals and and and, and beautiful purpose driven um impulsity to take that action towards your own life yeah and you can see that there's the abundance coming in but what i need you to do is trust your intuition at the present moment and put healthy boundaries in place there and be resilient too because that's the wounded warrior the soldier in itself okay so after putting an ending to all this uh gossip and teasing and stress and stuff like that because we're releasing burdens and divine judgments being called uh we switch the deck now so we can have a look now and see what's um coming on with this deck yeah, you're able to heal now, so it brings it in, so it's coming in fast, man. You're able to heal now, okay? You can see that uh, Divine Judgment has been called, okay, because that's the next card we're going into for anybody that teased you, put you down, hurt you, gossiped, uh, made stressful times in your life, things like that, because Spirit's coming in to heal you, so that way you can um, basically... Um, be the best version of yourself now that's good news coming in and now that's good news coming in fast man that's a, the only fast card in there okay you may not see it at the present moment because we did have the two of swords there and that's the that's the best part about the two of swords is the logic and choice that comes in because that's what it means choice but it also means a blind choice so you may not have seen it or you may not see the fact that um the good news is coming in because divine but there's a lot of options coming because we've got divine judgment to the aid of inspiration that leads to the king of cups with something coming in the background and then you're pulling you towards options Things, just lots and lots of good times in your life. All those plenty of fishes in the sea. If you're looking for love, love will be in and there's inspiration for you. But it's like the temperance angels are watching over you and keeping you safe at the present moment, especially with the divine hierophant there. It shows that it's fated for anything to have gone on so you can have your joy. Now I want to show you something. Uh, any type of dominance in itself, um, we can see here, any type of dominance, manipulation, ego around the um, being bounded, stuck, manipulating into anything. Temperance Angel shows that they've seen everything thoroughly, okay, which is why Divine Judgment's been called, um, in order to pull you in the direction that you'll have. Only pull seven cards out of each deck, so these are coming out in the, in the way perfect um, you could ever think. But you can see that Divine also seen it here, because that's God in that card, and you also seen the dominance there of them breaking your heart, okay, so which is why the divine seen the purity of your heart so you could take the next leap of faith because it's in your hands so see these cards it's all in your hands so in her hand is the light and in her hand over here is the amethyst which shows purity of thought as you walk towards your new adventure and be happy about it and and trust your intuition that it's coming because it is fated to come in okay and as you can see you'll be jumping for joy now in this card you can see that it's a genie okay the genie is uh with the little uh, lamp in the bottom corner there it shows that universe is going to give you a gift now it starts with the same card and ends with the same card which is a universal gift underneath that is the empress so it shows that you have leveled up in a long in a, and released any type of uh, love, family situation, because we've got the two cups to the three cups. So any type of love, family, friends, 
that weren't vibing with you because you see you had to go within in order to learn who you are and complete that out okay and now we're talking about why the boundaries are there so because but just, like it says here justice is coming so you can be enthusiastic about your life and go back to exactly who you are okay because we do have the judgment to justice as well around any type of gossip tricksters uh deception thieves where they basically uh, hurt you and think that it's funny to do so that's a hollow victory it means it wasn't supposed to happen in the first place but they did it just for benefit of themselves spirit says heal at the present moment and that's what um spirit's doing for you so that way you can have this justice okay as you can see there's there's some sort of justice around success okay for you to charge towards whatever you want and that should be inspiring okay but because the the devil there gave you the chance to be able to learn how to balance the masculine to feminine energies and spirit seen the whole thing okay that's also finding the guru within as you level of ascend and ascend up so you can have the best faded moments of your life because it's faded for you to have that joy in your life that's the rating that I have for you, Gemini. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. And just the whole thing is centered around your success, getting success. That's why I only pull seven, seven cards out of each deck. So that way Spirit's got a fresh chance to have a look at it. And that's what's still in there. All the bad cards are all still in there. All you got was that gossip, teasing. But like I said, next to that is divine judgment, which has been called. It's fated to happen that way because they broke your heart and spirit doesn't like that, yeah? When you cry, God cries with you. So it shows that your ancestors and everything are watching over and they're about to burn that ass. We well, you to have a lovely, beautiful day and take care.